Hey guys, welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make it so that the AI stops moving whenever the player is looking at it. So in this example, the AI is just going to be randomly roaming. However, this can work for chasing or patrolling, anything you like. And essentially, when the player looks directly at the AI or the player sees the AI, the AI will stop moving. And as soon as we look away, it will stop moving again. So let me show you what this is going to look like. So I'll go in first person. So I'm not looking. It's going to be moving. If I look at it, or if I find it and look at it, it will stop moving. So you see it's now stopped moving. If I turn away, I'll turn back, you see it was moving again. So there you go. So that works quite well if it's chasing you. You just do that. And then I'll also show you in third person too. I'm looking at it, it stopped moving. I'm not looking anymore. And now when I am, it stops moving. So like I say, this is what we're making today. So let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So this is actually very simple code and we want to do all of it just in our character blueprint. So I'm going to open up my character blueprint, which for me is the content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character, but if you could be third, first, or if you've named it. And now don't worry if you don't have anything else which I have in here, these are just from previous tutorials, however they do not affect this one at all. So in here what we want to do is we want to add a component, we want to add pawn sensing, which you might have used for your AI before, so if you've got chase or anything like that, but we just want to use it so we can know if the player is looking at the AI or not. So we can go to the viewport, select the pawn sensing, and we can mess about with some of these values in here after we compile as well, like that. So this green one here is the site, which is what we want to mess about with. So I'm going to change the peripheral vision angle to just be forward a bit. So I'm going to be using 55, which is a value I found earlier, which I think is quite good. But again, you can lower this even further if you want, so you have to be looking even closer and even more directly at the AI. So possibly even 40, you might want that, or even lower. Again, just customize that to get what you like. And obviously the site radius is how far out in front you can see. I'm just gonna leave that as default with 5,000. And the rest, I'm not gonna mess about with, as I think these values are gonna be good for seeing the AI. We also want to make sure that we untick only see players and have see pawns ticked, as we want to make sure that we can see AIs as well as players. Once we've done that, we can compile, save, and then still with the pawn sensing selected, we want to find the event of on see pawn and hit the plus on that as obviously once we see the pawn we want it to stop moving. So out of the pawn we're going to cast to our AI which for me is the AI looked at but again this will be whatever you've named it and this just checks to see if we're looking at this specific AI not any other one. So after this we're going to hold on S left click to get a sequence so we can do two things. Then one we want to disable the movement so once we see the AI we want to stop it from moving. So as AI looked at, or whatever it's called for you, so come out of the cast, we're going to get the character movement. Actually, we'll just disable movement as that will get it for us. So we can just disable movement from the character movement there, like so. Connecting that into then zero, like so. Because like I say, once we see the AI, it's gonna stop moving. And then to make it start moving again, after we stop looking at it, we're gonna come out of then one and get a re-triggerable delay. And this just means that we can re-trigger it so this will fire off every single time we see the AI on a 0.6 interval, or 0.5 it might be actually. Yeah, 0.5 interval there. So every time it does that, it's gonna make sure the movement is disabled. And then essentially, I'm gonna set this duration to be a minimum of 0.6, so it will happen after the sensing interval. However, I'm gonna set it to be a value of let's say one instead. So once we stop looking at the AI, one second later, it will start to move again. So you can customize that and set it to whatever you like. And it's re-triggerable because again this means that if we see the pawn again this will go back to zero if it's just a normal delay it will re-enable the movement if we're still looking at it so our completed we want to come out of the character movement again and set movement mode connecting that into the completed and i'm going to set it to walking so it can move again and that's the code set up it's very very simple so again if we look at the ai it's going to stop it from moving and when we stop looking at it which is triggered by this delay here because we'll only come out the completed of this delay once we stop looking at the AI, the AI will be able to move again. So if we compile and save, that should be done. I'll also show you what I've got set up in the AI. It's very simple, it's just a random roam, so it will move about. We don't need anything else. I do have videos on setting that up as well if you'd like. So let's hit play and test this out. So you see the AI is moving. If I look at the AI, it's gonna stop. If I stop looking at the AI, it's gonna move again. And if I look at it, it stops and I stop looking like so. Now the reason I can still look at it with the camera and it's not changing is because the, the pawn sensing comes from the front of the player because it's typically used in first person and anything like that so it's if the character is looking 
rather than the camera. So this is what we've got set up. But again, if we go into first person, you can see this works a little bit better because obviously you have to actually be looking at it for it to stop, like so. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we want to do. We've set up an AI which only moves when we're not looking at it. So as soon as we start looking at the AI, it will stop moving. And as soon as we look away, it will start moving again, like so. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.